with my dogs in the nighttime. Ooh, trap nigga with the chickens like pop pop. Money changing colors. Like What's good, guys? It's your girl Aubrey. Welcome back to my channel. Why did I snap though? Who do I think I am? <laughs> Today I'm going to be doing a different video and this is going to be some skincare tips for you guys that can help keep your skin clear and also my updated skincare routine. There were some of you that I asked in one of my other videos if you guys wanted to see an updated skincare routine video and some of you guys wanted to see that and so I figured yeah why not get a variety of videos on this channel besides the reactions because I do like to do other things okay not just reactions I like to do other things so wow okay but in this video I'm just gonna be giving you guys tips and things that I do to keep my skin clear and hopefully those things can work for you guys as well and some of you guys might already do the things that I'm gonna tell you guys about so before we get into this video make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up also make sure you guys click that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you guys will always be notified as I'm uploading content and with that being said let's get into this video okay guys so before I even get into the tips I'm gonna show you guys my updated skincare routine and with that you're gonna see the products that I use and you're gonna just watch me as I wash my face and just see the process I go through and it's a really simple process I don't use any extra tools or things which I do actually want to get one of those face scrubber brush things but I ain't got that but it's like really simple to the point you guys will see the products up close and everything and they'll be in the description if you guys want to see those in the description um so yeah if you guys want to see my skin curl routine, keep watching. Okay, guys, so I'm going to be showing you guys my updated skincare routine. Um, and excuse my appearance, I woke, I just woke up not too long ago. So the first thing that I do is I get my face a little bit damp just because I don't want to be putting product on my face and my face be dry. Because then it's like, why? Why, sis? Why? Just like people like to have their hair. Some people like to have their hair soaked before they put any kind of product in their hair it's like the same for the face at least for me so the first product I'm taking is Kiehl's ultra facial cleanser for all skin types this is what it looks like I'll leave it over here but I'm just gonna take a little bit on my fingers this much and then just massage this into my face and what I love about this cleanser is that it doesn't seem to dry my face out as much um, I have extremely dry skin so that's one thing I fear is that my face will get super dried out but with this I don't have that problem which I really really love and I love the fact that it is for all skin types so somewhere in there it has ingredients that can cater to all skin types so yeah so I just put this all over my face massage it in with my fingertips and then I rinse it off so that's what I'm about to continue to do now Okay, so next what I do is I just like to add a little bit of um, some moisturizer to my face. So I use the St. Ives Timeless Skin Moisturizer. And if you guys saw my very first skincare routine on this channel, um, this is the same moisturizer I used in that video. So this is the only thing that did stay consistent in my skincare routine. And I'm very generous with it. I just put this all over and then I rub it in. And I love this for one because it's really thick. So a little does go a long way, but because I have extremely dry skin, I use a little bit more than you guys probably think I probably should be using. <laughs> and then lastly, what I do as like a little extra moisture is I take this Mario Badescu skincare um, facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water and if you guys watch my makeup route my first makeup tutorial on this channel I use this to set my makeup but it's also just a nice skin refresher and moisturizer so this has like multiple uses so I just spray some of this just like that I let my skin soak that up as well and I don't do anything else with my face that is literally all I do for my skincare routine and it's really effective for my skin um, 
So yeah, you guys stay tuned for some tips that I use to keep my skin as clear as I possibly can. Okay guys, so now that you see the skincare routine, I'm going to tell you guys about things that I do to further help my skin just aside from clean washing my face every day. The first tip is drink plenty of water. If you're dehydrated, your body is going to let you know. Don't ignore those signs. Drink water. Because water has a lot of benefits besides helping your skin. It does improve the your skin complexion and the complexity of your skin. It, li it literally does all that for your skin. But on top of doing all of that, it also flushes out toxins that are in your skin. It, um, and when I say flushing out toxins, it flushes out your whole body, not just what's in your face, your whole body. And it prevents kidney stones and it prevents UTIs or it prevents the chances of you getting them. It lowers those down, which is a great thing because kidney stones and UTIs are both severe things. Drinking water can help with a lot of things, not just your skin, but it also gives you energy. It relieves fatigue. It does all of that. So that's great. So drinking water it's really important and it also helps with hair growth too so it just does a lot so drinking water is really important guys it really is and if you guys need more facts just hit up the google and the google will get you right with the facts okay okay the next tip i can give you guys is to do your research it's so much easier to learn how to cater to your skin when you do research and you learn the type of skin that you have like for me I have extremely dry skin and very sensitive skin. I can wash my face and I will get red spots on my face because my skin is, is crazy sensitive, but it's, it's very dry. Um, and that's one thing that irritates me so much about my skin is how dry that it is. And I just had to do my research and find products that would work for me. And they have worked for me and they are working for me. Um, so it's just finding products that are right for your skin type. If you can find a product that says it's great for all skin types, then that's great. But if, but I mean, there are so many different skin products out there to choose from. So it's like just find one that works for you. Do your research on it. Try to see if you can find a forum with other people that have used that product or people that have similar like skin that you have like a similar type of skin and then see what products they're using. And that could help you just doing your research on all of that will make it much easier to know how to cater to your skin and steps you need to take to get the kind of skin that you're wanting. So just doing that research is, is very important. It's very important. So the next step is take into account that what you're eating could be contributing to you getting acne or you getting breakouts. And it's crazy, but certain foods that you eat can actually cause pimples. So it's basically processed foods are a big contributor to getting pimples or eating foods that have a lot of refined carbs in them it we have insulin in our systems and it makes our insulin spike and when our insulin goes up for some reason our body produces more sebum i think that's how you call it or how you pronounce it it's basically natural oil that our bodies produce if you take your fingertips right now put it in your scalp and like massage your scalp for a little minute and then you feel your fingertips they will have oil on them yeah, they will have oil on them. That's what that is. It's natural oils that your body does produce. And so it produces more oils. And you know what happens when, you're, when your body produces a bunch of oil? It clogs your pores up. If there's an excess of oil, it will clog your pores. And then that produces acne. So from the website that I saw, I guess it's doctors from off of Dr. Oz, uh, which is a show. I don't know if that show still comes on. I think it does. But eating more veggies more vegetables whole grain foods and things of that nature um, and also lean protein also can help but if you're if you don't eat meat or anything like that there are still other foods that can veggies and fruits and stuff that you can eat that can help you out basically they say that if it's good for your body it's good for your skin and it's gonna start from the inside out so as long as you're taking care of yourself on the inside then you'll be fine out on the outside you know what i'm saying so yeah another thing that could contribute to acne is stress if you guys are really stressing some of you may notice that you get breakouts when you stress a lot at least for me this is very true on my skin if i stress out a whole bunch i will get a pimple and it won't be like a, a a bunch of pimples it'll be like that one good pimple that you have to give a name to it like name it beth or, or bethany or something like you got to give it a name because it's sticking around for a while yeah one of those pimples yeah when i stress i get those kind of pimples mm thinking they gonna be hanging out on my skin like it's what's up sis what's popping let's hang out type 
Yeah, those kind of pimples, yes. So basically when we stress, our bodies pump out hormones. I think it's called like cortisol or something like that. But our bodies pump out hormones. And when our bodies pump out those hormones and then in, in return for it doing that, the glands under our skin, it produces oil. And that excess oil, like I said before, when it gets into your skin, it clogs your pores up and it gets trapped. Basically, it gets trapped in there with dirt and dead skin and everything of that nature. And in return for that happening, all that bacteria, it causes pimples, breakouts and things of that nature. So try to stress less. I know that everybody's life isn't perfect. You know what I'm saying? We all, every everybody goes through situations that are very stressful and we might not know how to deal with the stress. But just trying to find ways to stress less, um, do something that makes you happy that can kind of relieve your stress, things of that nature, you know, anything that can help you not stress as much, that will help you out. Um, Because stress honestly isn't good for your body anyway, but now that you know it's not good for your face and it can produce pimples on your face, there's that sis another thing i want to say is get into a routine and stay consistent i feel like with anything when you stay consistent it, it helps you out in the long run and when you get a routine you're basically training your mind to be used to whatever it is it becomes second nature um and you don't slack off on it so for me i like to wash my face before like in the morning as soon as i wake up and before I go to sleep or before I start to feel myself getting lazy to where it's like, eh, I'm getting a little bit lazy. I might not want to wash my face now. You know what I'm saying? Like before I start to feel like that, I'll wash my face and I try to get myself in a routine and know that, okay, every day I'm going to do this in the morning and this at night. Um, and for anybody that wears makeup, like making sure you're getting, you're removing that makeup from your face and not sleeping with the makeup on, like, okay, got to get into a routine of every night before you go to sleep, wash that face off and all that stuff. So it really helps even if you have to set a reminder in your phone for certain times of the day when you want to wash your face or anything like that, then do that. And then after a while, you'll get so used to it that you'll, you won't even need reminders to do it. You'll just, it's second nature. Your mind will remember to do that, you know? So staying consistent and getting into a routine kind of go hand in hand. Once you set that routine and you keep consistently doing it, then you'll see improvement in that so just stay with that stick with that and you'll be good um so yeah and then the last tip i have for you guys is actually a drink that my mom put me on to that basically helps with my immune system and flushing toxins out of my blood system out of my bloodstream and my body period and just promoting healthiness all throughout my body so to do this we're gonna need to head down to the kitchen so i can show you guys how i make this okay guys so for the last part i'm gonna be showing you guys a drink that i drink every single morning to basically help keep my skin clear as well or at least be a factor in helping um so this right here is spirulina powder my mom told me it's like a type of algae but it's a superfood and it helps do a lot of things um it says that it is 65 percent protein which is crazy um it removes toxins from the blood and boosts the immune system and so when it's removing those toxins it's really helping your skin out um like i said before how drinking water can help flush your skin and remove toxins like this right here is also gonna help you with that and it's a superfood so superfoods are super like what you mean sis so then thing i'm using right here is collagen powder and it is used for skin elasticity radiant hair and strong nails so all along all around collagen is really helpful in all of the beauty things so um i use this as well in this mixture and then i'm also going to take some orange juice as well um just so that it can take on the spirulina can take on the taste of this because this has a really weird taste but when you mix it with a really good juice you don't really taste it so it's good so how i'm about to prepare this is i'm gonna use a blender so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my orange juice and I'm only, I don't need that much. So I'm just gonna pour like this much. Yep. And that'll be that. Since this is only for me, I don't need that much. Then I'm going to take a tablespoon like this and then I'm just gonna take a tablespoon of the collagen. Like this much and put that in there. And then I'm going to take 
a tablespoon of the spirulina and put it in there as well. Mm. This is what it looks like. It's really green. And I'm gonna put that right on top. Make sure it's screwed on tight. And then boom. Just like that, look at it. <laughs> Take a cup. Pour this out here. See, and look, the amount I made was literally the perfect amount. All right, guys, so that is basically this video. Um, I hope that the tips that I said in this video really can help you guys out if you guys are having issues. And you guys can do your own research and figure out what really works for you. So if these tips work for you, let me know. If you guys decide to spy, try that spirulina drink, also let me know. I will leave it in the description places you can get it if you're interested in getting it. Because um, I know it's weird. It's like an algae type thing. I know it sounds weird. <laughs> but um, it is really helpful uh, for more things than one. So... But yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys try any of these or what your guys' products you use for your skincare routine is. And then also talk, maybe talk about your skin type and give tips that you think will work. And in the comments, you never know, somebody could benefit from what you're saying. So you guys definitely go down there and do that, um, converse with each other. And yeah, so I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Yeah.